Well, 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 my oh my, I've just finished making my previous video about changing my arcade bat tops and guess what's just come through the post? You'll never guess. Yes, my yellow bat tops, here they are. Looking absolutely fantastic. I can't wait to put those on and swap those out. What I also did, and I forgot to mention in the last video, uh, something else that's been kind of, I, I wouldn't say concerning, but I definitely want to change for a long while, is the shaft on the arcade stick. Now, check this out. This is my back top stick, and as you can see, there's um, the, the Sanwar JLF stick has got a standard size length of a shaft, which is 6.8 mil, uh, 6.8, centimeters I want to say and what that means on my arcade control panel um, is that you can see just a bit of the shaft neck sticking out protruding uh, on both of the sticks so when, whenever I see arcades um, on the control panels the the length of the stick is usually a lot lower and you don't really tend to see a lot of the neck. It's not because there is a shaft cover on there, it's literally because I think the sticks are either lower down in the board or they're a shorter shaft length. So I've always wanted a slightly shorter shaft length to get this ball top a little bit lower down so you can't really see it and the neck is kind of closer to the control panel. So I've got a couple of these. These are Sanwa, um joystick shafts these are six centimeter length so it's going to drop the height down quite a considerable bit and I don't know if it's going to actually improve the throw distance but um, you know a shorter neck will technically do that if you think about it I think so uh, yeah as a comparison uh, I'm going to install one of those on this neck here on this joystick and also one of my cool yellow bat tops and we're just going to do a little comparison about looking at the height of it uh, before and after so yeah I'm going to do a quick switcheroo now and we'll come back and take a look okay so there we have it the arcade stick is out and there's the Sanwa JLF good thing I took it out because there seems to be some sort of uh, dirt or dust build up I don't know if that's just happened just because I've taken it out now but it's a good excuse to give it a nice little clean and a dust and yeah what we're going to be doing is taking off this shaft here so uh, it's going to be I'm going to have to take off the restrictor gate here uh, this is a square gate that I've got running so yeah let's uh, let's start with that and we'll see how it goes okay I'll try and do this in real time um, this is a first time changing a shaft on an arcade stick so hopefully it shouldn't be too difficult uh, so let's take off this restrictor gate first uh, there's four little clips here we can just undo those and it should come off this is by no means an expert tutorial so um, this is just me doing what I think needs to be done. Um, there's the four micro switches. And I think we're gonna need to take off this. Uh, there's a little kind of circular metal clip here. You can see that's gonna like, need to come out. I'm gonna take off the micro switches. Okay, so the way the shaft is held in is basically by this little circular semicircle clip here. So this allows you to, this shaft allows you to, it's got a spring here, so you can push this down so you can access that little clip to pull it out. And the best kind of tool is like a nice thin clippy pair of pliers like this that you can grab that bit of metal and just take it off. Get a grip and pull it off. There we go. Ooh. And now that should come off. And then the spring comes off. That's your spring. Now these are the springs you can change to get a firmer spring. That's quite, a, that's the standard spring that comes with the uh, 
the JLF. And then there is another bit of plastic. Lots of parts here. And now the shaft is going to just simply come out. Uh, I put a bit of elastic band on there just to get some leverage so we can just get rid of that now. And let's get the new shaft in preparation. We'll do a little kind of comparison. Let's open this up. There we go. So these are the two shafts. This is the standard size and this is uh, the new the new one. So we've got 6.8 centimeters on this side and six centimeters on that side. And you can see it's, it's a little bit of a drop. There you go. Let's put them right side by side. There you go. There You can see the difference there in height. So I'm hoping that makes a little bit of a difference visually and even gameplay wise actually. It would be interesting to see. Uh, okay, so yeah, let's put this one back together. Okay, so we're going to do a quick reassembly with the new shaft here. So hopefully I'll put these back on in the correct order. I'm going to put that bit on first and then put on the, the plate. And then on goes this black piece that's going to hold the, the spring is going to sit on there. So let's put on the spring. And then this black top goes over the spring. And then finally, we're going to put that metal clip back in. It's a little sharp, so be careful. You should be able to do it by hand. There we go. Ouch. That hurt a little bit. <laughs> Uh, okay, so that's it. Uh, we're going to put the micro switches back on. Uh, what's interesting on this, if you if if you've got a Sanwa stick, uh, there's a corner here that says Sanwa, just in this black corner. So if you forget which way your micro switches go back on, this little Sanwa logo here lines up with the you know, five pin connector there. Uh, and that goes back on there. And then you can put back on your restrictor gates, restrictor plates, whatever you want to call it. Clippity clip. There we go. And then the PS to resistance, which I shouldn't really put it on now because I need to insert it into the mic, into the uh, arcade first, but I just want to have a quick look with the new bat top. There we go, that is going to be so cool. So yeah, that's one uh, that's one Sanwar arcade stick updated with a new shaft. So let's go and plug it in. Okay, so let's take a look at the difference and here it is. Got the new bat top installed and the new shaft and it's looking really fine. I must say, I'm really happy with that. That is definitely the size that I've wanted and the height that I've wanted for such a long time. It makes a massive difference. The clearance on this stick compared to this one, you can just have a look now there, the height difference. And that is going to make a little bit of a difference to gameplay, I'm sure it is. And definitely aesthetically I think it's much better. You don't see much more of the shaft as well. The, the stick looks nice and more kind of connected to the control panel. It feels nicer that it's lower. This one, you can really feel the height difference. I mean, it's just slightly shorter, but I think this is gonna be a lot more engaging with that slightly shorter neck. And with that yellow ball top to pop out uh, the arcade machine, just like I say, it makes it pop with that bit of color, that yellow and black. I just love the yellow and black theme and I think that one down, one to go, but I think that's really cool. So I'm really happy with that before and after. So just one more to install and uh, I'm really happy. So yeah, definitely sticking with the back tops for sure. And uh, watch this space, who knows what else I'm gonna do to this, <laughs> this arcade machine in the future, but little changes make such a big difference. And I'm definitely gonna play some games and enjoy that uh, over the Christmas holidays. So yeah, thanks for watching, stay tuned.
and I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.